Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna talk about scene viewports. Alright, so in Houdini we have by default this huge uh, scene viewport here that we can just uh, inspect our scene and, and do whatever we want here, manipulate our geometry, etc. Right? So, but that's not the only thing. You can actually switch uh, different viewports here by with this menu here, set viewport to the top, front, right, and UV, or just use the shortcuts. You can see the top view, left view, and I have some, and I have some um, a model sheet there for Roberto, so I can just see what we're doing. You can see we're in the left now. This is the right. No, this is the left. Kind of like that. So we can switch that, but we can also go to this, this big button here, click it, and we can have different viewports here in this, different views in this viewport here. You can see we have four views. We can have uh, two views. We can have a bunch of different views here. This is uh, particularly cool. Also, let me just toggle this. We can set different settings for different viewports here. You can see we have four right now. Let me go to the more traditional four views like this. This is the perspective, of course, top, front, and right. Actually, I'm actually wrong here. This is the left, so sorry for that. So, but we can see we can manipulate this viewport alone. We can go to this viewport. We can manipulate alone that viewport and this viewport and this viewport. But when you're modeling, sometimes you want these viewports, the uh, orthographics viewports to be linked together. So we can do that here again in this button, link ortho views. Now you can see when I move one of this and zoom in and move around, these views are linked. So if I'm modeling something in the head of uh, Roberto here, you can see that all the views are linked and they are all focusing on the area that I'm interested in, right? So that's one thing, it's pretty cool. You can link those guys together and put them in the uh, position that you want. You can also change any of these viewports to any other viewport that you want. You can see, I can change this to the right view. Now we have this as the uh, left. That's weird, left, right. It's just toggle between, toggles between the two, the right and left, also the top. Toggles between the top and the uh, bottom view there, like that. All right. So also, if you want to have different shading in all these viewports, you can have different shading. By default, the viewports are all linked together. You can see if I go to wireframe, pressing W, it, we're going to wireframe. But if you don't want to, let's say you have want to have this shaded all the time for your reference and you're modeling this in these viewports, and I, you want to change any of this to wireframe, what you need is just to toggle this button here. By default, you can see it's uh, turned on and all the viewports are linked. If you toggle, turn it off, now if I'm the mouse, I have the mouse in this viewport and I press W, and I can see I can go to wireframe here, or wireframe here, wireframe here, wireframe here, or solid. So I can have this solid, I can have this in wireframe, I can change to whatever shade in here, I can go to flat shaded or any other uh, viewport that I wanna have here and I still can have this linked or I can have them unlinked. So like that, let me change this to uh, the other guy. No, not front, but right, like that. Okay, now let me link the views together again like that and we have Roberto in each view and we can model and we can have again any viewport any shading in any viewport that we like all right so it that's not the end we can have more fun if we go here me make this bigger make another scene view here now I can have more views here I can model here and have my big reference here or I can have more viewports here that's fun and again, you can have these guys linked or unlinked and we can have this as square frame. Same thing applies. And this set is totally different from this. You can see this ortho uh, viewports are linked, but this uh, ones aren't. So if you wanna uh, 
be in another place in, in this model. You can have more viewports and also when you're editing, you can see if I go to uh, edit this model, go to sel select Roberto, select points, just go inside Roberto there. You can see I can select points here. I'm not even editing here in this side, but I, but I can actually mo move these points here. And it's going to reflect on all the viewports, of course. So I can select points here and I can even select faces in these viewports here. You can see I have faces here and have points here. I can select uh, anything else here, like, I don't know, let's see. I can move it here in faces and I can select here in, in points. I can have uh, another kind of selection here and this is pretty fun. Pretty damn fun. Oh, poor Roberto. Let's put him back together. Ah, he's good. All right, so there you go. You can do a bunch of amazing things with uh with viewports that's pretty fun right all right so there you go now you know how to do a bunch of different things with viewports just configure your desktop to however you want to work and have fun all right guys that's it for today thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next one and let's keep learning together cheers